Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the new Timotor F7 all-in-one flight controller. In this quick video I'm going to go over its features and specs and after installing it on this new 4-inch build, head outdoors and test it out. First of all, this whoop style 25.5 by 25.5 mm all-in-one flight controller is available in two versions, 35 amperes and 45 amperes, which besides a weight difference of 0.2 grams, only differ in their current rating. In terms of packaging, inside the box, along with some stickers and the all-in-one flight controller, you're getting an XT60 battery connector, which is pre-soldered to 9 cm long, 16 gauge silicone coated wires, a 10 cm long, 6 pins GST harness, which is used for connecting the all-in-one flight controller to a digital or analog VTX, a 35 volts 1000 microfarad capacitor, two heat rings for the capacitor legs, four rubber O-rings, and two extra silicone grommets in addition to the four which are pre-inserted to the mounting holes of the flight controller. In terms of features and specs, this all-in-one flight controller can be powered with up to 6S batteries, features an F7 processor, a 1.5 amperes 5V BC, an onboard barometer, a dedicated JST connector for connecting it to a VTX, five full UART ports, SCL and SDA pads, a built-in 16 megabytes of memory for storing black box data, and an MPU 6500 gyro chip. Unfortunately, it is using a micro USB connector, and I hope that on the next version, Timotor are going to use a USB Type-C connector instead. In addition, the board features an integrated 35 or 45 amperes BLLES 4-in-1 ESC. The motor pads can be accessed from the top, side and bottom parts of the board. It's using 25.5 by 25.5 mm M3 mounting holes, which are reduced to M2 using the provided silicon grommets. The 35 amperes version weighs 10 grams. The 45 amperes version is 0.2 grams heavier and the outer dimensions of the board are 33.8 by 33.8 by 5.7 millimeters. The next thing that I've done is to install the 35 amperes version of the Timotor F7 all-in-one flight controller on this DJI O3 build, which also features the Timotor Pacer 1804 3400 KV motors and the Foxeer Ura 4-inch freestyle frame. As for the build itself, everything is pretty much straightforward. I didn't encounter any issues, all the pads are marked, and just pay attention that unfortunately the flight controller doesn't feature an onboard 10 volts BC, which means that the VTX is going to be powered either using 5 volts or the battery power. So in case the VTX that you're going to use doesn't support 6S and you're going to build a 6S build, you will need to power the VTX using an external BC in case it can be powered using 5 volts. So overall, after testing out this all-in-one F7 flight controller by Timotor using this 4-inch build, I can tell you that I'm really happy with the results as it flies great using the custom tune which I'm going to include down below. The Pacer 1804 3400 KV motors are pretty powerful and efficient and I might feature them in an upcoming bench test video. And overall, I think the Timotor got a pretty good product and it could have been perfect if the flight controller was equipped with a USB Type-C port and also featured a BLA32 4-in-1 ESC. Besides these two issues, I think that considering the price of the all-in-one flight controller, it's a very good product, at least in my opinion. And in case you're debating which version to get, considering that both are priced the same, you should go for the 45 amperes version. Anyway, now I'm going to wrap up this video with some flight footage. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. I wish you all happy flying, and I'll see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.